because now I've educated myself and I've understood, I understand who I am, biblically, like spiritually, the true Israelite, I'm not sure if change is ever going to come on that end. So now my thing is I'm pleading that change will come amongst With us. Okay, us. Now two years later, I'm following the Christ. Oh, the Lord had mercy on the young and I was dead in the world. Now I'm celebrating life. All glory to the Father. So let's dive into it. Um, this is something that we wrote on this end. Um, I think it'll speak for itself. Change. The type of lasting change that we as a people desire will not come from outside sources until it has taken root and has been birthed from within each and every one of us first. By that we mean that yes, there are clearly laws in place that need to be amended, oppressive systems that need to be disrupted, racial double standards that must be uprooted, racist cops that need to be exposed, removed, and charged accordingly, media propagated motives that can no longer be given access into our homes and mindsets at the cost of our dollars. We are beyond tired, enraged, and unwilling to accept any more excuses regarding equality, which is ordained by God and cannot be delegated and rationed out by any man. Inside of a nation that was built on our backs, our creativity, and only repaid with unjustified bloodshed. And while our country is once again facing unrest and social turbulence, we also cannot allow this opportunity to pass without shedding more light on these current events and address the unspoken hard truth that some seem unwilling to address on their platforms. Our covenant with our Heavenly Father was established when he empowered us black people with the name Israel and labeled us as his peculiar people. And the etymology of peculiar means belonging exclusively to one being, special in particular. And he also laid out the blessings and curses that we can expect if we chose to disobey his commandments. While we are hurting, exhausted, and boiling with emotion, we must also understand that our opposition not only knows our true identity, but have also become masters of our weaknesses and intentionally structured systems to entangle us in sin, which is the only force on this earth that can prevent us from operating in our true power. Sadly, they seem to know more about us than we do ourselves at times. So in no way are we aiming to divert the much needed and overdue attention away from the situation at hand with these unarmed killings. And we fully stand with all of the families of those who have been slain and the protesters around the globe who, like us, are frustrated, angry, and tired of not only the unjustified killings, but also the slow response in arresting and convicting those responsible. What is violently taking place with every one of these senseless killings of our brothers and sisters is madness and completely evil. However, because we only seem to unite at this level of magnitude when we are being killed by someone outside of our own race, we must take advantage of this because we may not have another great opportunity such as this to address certain points. And in closing, after justice has been served for the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, David McAddy, Ahmaud Arbery, and the countless others who will never be forgotten, we as a people still face an even greater obstacle to overcome, and that's facing how we unite once again toward the mission of loving ourselves and each other. So, um, I know she touched on it at the top of it, I know you're heavy. Um, but how do you feel when you look out, uh, when, when you see the posts, you listen to the news, talk to friends and family, being a woman, being a mother, um, having, having lost uh, a nephew, um, how has this hit you? I am just lost for words, because it's almost like we want to, we, I, I want to say we shouldn't do this, and we shouldn't do that, and we shouldn't do certain things, but we're angry. And we ain't used to this, even though racism has been around. Yeah. We're not used to this. We have we wasn't raised up. We didn't see that. Right. So we want answers. Matter of fact, excuse my language. Fuck answers. We don't want answers. We want change. Excuse my language, but that's how I mean it like that. Like we don't want no answers. We want change. We want to be treated like we're supposed to be treated, but. Because now I've educated myself and I've understood, I understand who I am, biblically, like spiritually, the true Israelite, I'm not sure if change is ever going to come on that end. So now my thing is I'm pleading that change will come amongst With us, us amongst 
God's chosen one. I had somebody come up on my page the other day and was like, and I never read my comments, but since all this has been going on, you know, I kind of read because sometimes I have other celebrities or other people hit hit me in DMs and stuff I normally don't check to ask me to be a part of stuff or just to, just checking up on me and we're checking up on each other. And so I saw the person say, you know, we are all God's children. And, yeah, we are. But he has his 12 tribe, his chosen one, and I know who I am. And that's what I was talking about. And so in order to know what I was talking about, you got to study that to show that show that stuff. You got to study. We got to get in the book. We got We cannot depend on the law of the land. We cannot depend on the government. Excuse me. We cannot depend on certain things. We got to depend on the book. What's the book? That's the word. That's the Bible. Fox. That's my word.